ok. So, we will talk about secured hash algorithm SA, uh, we will we'll learn SA 1 the hash function which is taking uh, a arbitrary length input and the length of the input could be uh, 2 to the power uh, 26 bit and so here is the can you please go to the slide. So, here is the SA 1. So, SA was developed by NIST in 1993 and it was uh, replaced by SA 1 and this was the standard uh, during that, but now the, there is a recent competition was going on. So, that is to have a uh, standardization of this SA. Okay, so, just come back to the general structure of a uh, secure hash code. So, any hash function has this uh, structure, how we can decompose the message into a fixed length message. So, here is we have arbitrary length message and we block, uh, we partition this message into y 1, y 2, y l minus 1. So, suppose there are l blocks and size of each block is b bits and we have a function f which is called compression function or compression algorithm which takes n bit and b bit input and which is giving n bit output. And this is the uh, initialization value or initialization vector or starting starting value this is C V 0 and all the C V's are the intermediate value. And then finally, C V L is our hash code. So, any hash function is having this compression function f. Okay, so, we will talk about SA 1, uh, what is the compression function. So, SA 1 for SA 1 is based on the compression function m d 4 algorithm, which is a uh, which is a compression function, which is designed by uh, Rivest uh, at MIT. He is one of the uh, inventor for RSA. And then SA 1 is uh, later on M D 4 is replaced by M D 5 algorithm by Rivest, but M D 4 and M D 5 both are uh, bo both are the function which is taking say one input is 5.2 bit, another input is 128 bit. So, this is M D 4 or M D 5 and it is giving us 128 bit digest. So, if we use this just the m d 5, it will give us ultimately the hash code is 128 bit. So, go to the slide please. So, this is, uh, but we want this to be uh, extend to make it 160 bit, because our SA 1, the hash code of the SA 1 is 160 bit. It takes a input of arbitrary length and it digests to the 168 bit output. So, we have to revise this m d 5. So, there are some parts uh, length of the value of this there are some version of SA 1 SA, SA 256, SA 384, SA 1 say SA 512 like this. So, let us talk about this uh, uh, SA uh, 512 bit which is taking the algorithm m d 5 as a compression function, but we have to modify this little bit to make it uh, 160 bit, because m d 5 is 128 bit. So, if you just apply the m d 5. So, what we are doing here in SA 1, so this is our m d 5, but in SA 1 this should be 160 bit. So, we will come to that function compression function, which is basically using the m d 5, but it is uh, some modification on it, because m d 5 is 128 bit. So, what we are doing basically here, we are taking a message m and length of the message we are allowing is 2 to the power 64. So, each message must be less than 2 to the power 64 bit. So, length of the message, so it is huge and that length. So, if length is 2 to the power 64 maximum, so that length can be stored in uh, 64 bit and that 64 length we are appending in the end of the message. Okay. So, this is how we are. Uh, so, this is we have a message m and at the m. So, we are allowing this is the message m. So, length of the message 
if the length of the message is L, we are allowing L to be maximum 2 to the power 64. So, that means, length of L, I mean length of length of L is 64 bits. So, just now we store this is the length of M and this is 64 bit. So, we are allowing maximum message size to be 2 to the power 64 bit and we break it into 512 bit. So, each of this is 512 bit blocks. So, last bit also should be. So, this is the last bit also should be 512 bit. So, for that so this should be total 512 bit. So, for that may be we need to append some bit over here. So, if we have to append it is always append function then we will append the constant like z 1 followed by all the zeros. This is the way we append the bit. So, go to the slide please. So, this is the this is the breakup. So, we breaking this message. Uh, so, this is our message and this we stored in the last 64 bit we store, store the length of the message and so this to make it one 512 bit. So, we may have to uh, append some bits over here which is basically constant which is fo 1 followed by the 0. So, may to make it uh, 512 bit. So, finally, we break uh, the message along with this uh, with 512 bit blocks suppose there are L blocks starting from 0 to L minus 1. So, these are the blocks. So, now suppose we have a compression function which is basically m d 5 which is taking input 512 and another input 128 bit and it is giving the intermediate values like 128 bit again it is taking the second input like this we continue. Finally, we are getting this uh, 128 bit has digest this is the uh, hash function uh, on this on this uh, plain text m. So, basically we are just compressing this m d 5. So, we have the i p this is 128 bit. So, this is also giving us 128 bit. So, another m d 5 compression function. So, like this we continue. So, finally, so this is the here is also you are applying m d 5 and this is coming from the last uh, before last block and this is basically this is 128 bit this is 512 bit. So, this is 128. So, so this is basically h of m. Okay. So, now this is basically compression into uh, this hash function is digesting into a 128 bit, but in our sa 1 sa 1 is basically 160 bits digest, 160 bit digest. So, we have to modify this function. We we'll look at how this m d 5 looks like uh, for uh, for this 160 bit and what are this i v. So, those thing we will uh, will have a look. So, this is the uh, append uh, the uh, append the padding bit. So, may be so last last bits are 64 bits. So, may so may be we need to append maximum 4 8 4 4 8 bits. So, 4 4 8 plus 64 it is 5 1 2. So, if we have to append then the append will be 1 followed by all zeros. So, this we have already talked about and this is the length. So, length of the message we have to append. So, we are allowing the length to be maximum 64 bit. So, this 64 bit length the integer we are uh, we are adding to the end of the message and this is the initialization uh, vector this i v uh, this i v. So, i v is basically so for uh, for sa 1 this should be uh, 160 bit. So, 160 bit if we block it if we break it into uh, this uh, 5 constant a b c d e then each is 32 bit. So, 5 into 32 160 bit. So, each is 32 bit and 32 bit numbers can be written is in the uh, a 4 bits 8 of 4 bit block. So, each of these is are hex 
hex representation, this is hex bit 6, 7, 4. So, this is this itself is a 4 bit, each of this is a 4 bit. So, total we have 4 into 8, so 32 bit. So, each of this constant is 32 bit. So, this is this is using the initialization vector for this uh, SA 1, I mean the modified version of M D 5. So, this is 160, total is 160 bit. So, this is the I V which is 160 bit. Okay. So, now we will come to the, uh, the round uh, of the uh, M D 5, I mean modified version of M D 5. So, basically uh, Okay. So, basically this is the, uh, let, let us come to the picture. So, this is the picture. So, it is basically taking uh, two input, one is 160 bit and this is, these are nothing but A, B, C, D, E and another input is 5, 1, 2 bit. Okay. So, what we are doing? So, come to the slide please. So, what we are doing? We are taking this uh, 5 1 2 bit and we have inside we have 4 round function we can say, I mean 4 round function and in each of this round function there are 20 steps. So, 20 uh, functions are they are in each of this round function and each of the round function is, uh, is using a constant k and which is fixed for particular round. So, k is fixed for this round, we use another constant k here for this round, another constant k here for this round like this. So, each round is each round f 1. So, f i has a input is 5 1 2 bit and another input for first f 1, another input the is this intermediate value a b c d e and it has uh, 20 step, we will come to that step how it is looks like, it is basically the logical operation we are performing and then after that after 20 step the output again will be the input for second round function which is called f 2 and there we use a different constant k and we use another input which is the this 5 1 2 bit. So, like this we continue after the fourth round f 4 we just take this intermediate value a b c d and we take this initial value of this a b c d and we will add do the addition. This is basically addition modulo 2 to the power 32, 30. Uh, so, we will do the addition and then finally, we get the 160 bit. Okay. Yeah, so, this is the addition operation. So, modulo 2 to the power 32, we just uh, take 2 32 bit, 32 bit and we add and then we take the modulus 2 to the power 32 and each round function this is the first round this is the second round this is the each round function is having 20 step and for each round function we need a k and k is fixed for each round I mean individual round. So, this is the round functions. So, for first round we take this uh, we use uh, B C D and we use this operation, this is the logical operation for the second round we do this like this. So, these are the uh, round function of this modified M D 5 and the finally, the output will be the after the lth round output will be the. So, this is one round. So, we, we continue like this after lth round it will be 160 bit digest and this is the initialization. So, we can the we, we, we initialize the uh, C B 0 by I V initialization vector which is given by the this uh, 30 5 32 bits and then final round is the basically this C uh, C V Q plus 1. C B Q plus 1 is the intermediate round which is taking this C V Q and this and after this summing we are get this is the this is our modified of the M D 5 and then then finally, M D M D modified M D 5 is basically C V L. 
Okay. So, this is the, uh, the uh, these are the intermediate value of this uh, M D 5 operation. Okay. So, now we will talk about what is called uh, birthday attack on hash function. Okay. So, birthday attack is coming from what is called birthday paradox. So, what is the birthday paradox? The birthday paradox is uh, suppose we have some collection of people then what should be the size of that collection, so that at least two people have a common birthday. So, let us state that suppose we have a group of group of k people or k person then what should be the what should be the size of k such that such that there will be a there is at least one common birthday probability more than half with probability probability uh, more than half. So, this is the birthday paradox. So, this is the question. So, what should be the value of k? We, we are gathering in a people suppose this is the class. So, we are just uh, uh, we are if we are uh, say if k is 23 then we are done then if we have a 23 collections of people group of person then uh, there is a chance and that chance is probability is more than half that two people at least two people is having a common birthday so this is called birthday paradox now where from this is coming? Now, uh, if k is say if we have 100 people, 100 collection, then this probability will be 0 0.9999 like this. Okay. So, now we have a, a graph over here for the, uh, so if this graph is telling like this. So, if we a number of group of people are like this, so this is the k and this is the probability probability of that at least one collision at least one common birthday. So, uh, this is the uh, uh, this is the graph for that. So, if we have say around so this is probability is more than half means this is 23 and if we have more than 70 or in near about 60 people then it is almost close to the this. Uh, close to the 1. So, if we have, so now we have to analyze this by probability calculation. So, now how we can, how we are saying this is 23 and if it is uh, more near about 70 then it is probability is more. So, we have to do some basic probability stuff. Now, here, so in a year how many days? It is 365 days. So, among this uh, 365 days, so we are collecting some uh, random numbers. So, suppose our random numbers, so this is the problem. So, given a random variable that is an integer with uniform distribution between 1 to n and then we are select, we, we have a selection of k in stand, k is less than n, the random variable, then the probability p n k that there is at least one duplicate. So, this probability we want to calculate. So, we have given n 
and we want to from this n we want to select k instance such that this probability n minus k is at least probability of at least one duplicate at least one collision or uh, at least one duplicate duplicate okay so this probability we can cal we, we want to calculate so this probability can be calculated like this so we want to calculate this so this is basically 1 minus probability of no duplicate so this is we'll do by classical definition so we are basically choosing k people and their birthday. So, the, this is each of these has n possibilities. So, total number of cases are n to the power k. So, among this now we want no collision. So, if this this these are the k k cell or k people. Now, among this uh, now we want the favorable cases with no duplicate. So, how we can do that? Now, this can be chosen an n ways and once we choose this n ways we do not want duplicate. So, this 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 has option n minus 1 ways like this n minus 2 like this continue. So, it is n minus k uh, plus 1. So, this is basically factorial n by factorial n minus k. So, this is basically factorial n by. So, this is basic classical definition of probability. Okay. So, this is this is basically can be written as. So, we want to write this as. So, this is 1 minus <coughs> sorry n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 continue n minus k uh, minus n minus k minus 1 in the bracket. Okay. So, divided by n to the power k. So, this we want to simplify 1 minus 1 minus 1 by n into 1 minus 2 by n 1 minus k minus 1 by n. Okay. So, now we want to use some inequality this is telling us 1 minus x is less than e to the power minus x. So, this we want to use here. So, if we use this inequality then we get. So, this is basically uh, greater than. So, p minus this is basically greater than. So, each of this is uh, 1 minus 1 by n each of this is less than this. So, minus of that. So, this must be greater than 1 minus e to the power minus 1 by n into e to the power minus 2 by n into dot 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 e to the power minus k minus 1 by n. Okay. So, this we want to further simplify this is basically 1 minus e to the power minus 1 by n minus we take common then plus 2 by n plus k minus 1 by n. Okay, so, this is basically 1 minus e to the power minus k into k minus 1 by n sorry 2 n. Okay, so, now now, we want this probability should be greater than half. So, we want this probability should be greater than half. So, half is greater than 1 minus 2 n. So, that means, we take e this side k into k minus 1 by 2 n 
we want this to be half. Now, this is basically uh, this is this side greater than again half. Okay. Now, we take the log both side. So, this is basically half. So, we take the log both side, it will give us log 2 is equal to roughly is equal to 1 minus e to the power minus k into k minus 1 by sorry uh, not so log 2 is basically equal to k into k minus 1 by 2 n. So, this is basically approximately k square by 2 n. Okay, this is basically k square by 2 n. Now, so k is basically, so k square is basically uh, 2 ln 2 into n. So, k is basically, so root over of this, root over of this value is 1.18, you can calculate this square root of n. So, this is approximately root n. So, k is approximately root n. So, they if there are if n is 365, then root n is basically near about 23. So, for birthday case n is 365. So, k is 23. So, that is the reason if we have a collection of 23 person, then there is a probability that uh, there will be a uh, there will be a uh, duplicate birthday. So, there there will be at least two people which have a common birthday. So, this this we want to use for our hash function. So, how we can use this for our hash function this 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 birthday paradox. Okay. So, suppose we have a hash function which is taking a message m arbitrary length message m and it is giving us small m bits <coughs> excuse me. So, small m bit output. Okay. So, now uh, so this is the set of all message set of all message and this is the the hash code set of all hash, hash code this is very small. So, this is the hash function this is the hash code this is 0 1 2 this is m bit. So, it is from 2 to the power m minus 1. Okay. So, this set is bigger this set is smaller. So, there has to be collision. So, only thing is uh, we know the weak collision and strong collision those properties are there for a hash function. So, only thing is it is very difficult to get two, two keys x y this weak collision is given a x it is very difficult to find y such that they are colliding. So, this is the weak collision h of x h of y because this set is very big in general this set is very big. So, it is very difficult to find y. So, we have to search for all y's okay. and for strong collision given. Uh, so, it is very difficult to find two points x y such that they are colliding is it computationally hard to find two points they are colliding. Okay. So, now we want to use this birthday paradox. So, here size of n is 2 to the power m. This is the total uh, total number of has possible has code. Now, now if we have k which is root over of n which is basically 2 to the power m by 2. If we have this many collection then if we search in that collection then we can get a then we it is ensured that by the birthday paradox that there will be a collision 
at least one duplicate will be there. So, for example, suppose we have this hash function, okay. suppose m is 64 bit, then what is k? k is 2 to the power 64, so uh, sorry k is 60, uh, 32 bit, so 2 to the power 32. So, it is basically m by 2, 2 to the power m by 2. <coughs> so, if we can collect a 2 to the power 32 messages and if we search and we know that by birthday paradox, we know that there will be at least one duplicate. That means, there will be a, at least 2 x y such that they are colliding into the same function. This is the common birthday or they are colliding. So, we are reducing our search space by instead of 2 to the power 64, we are reducing it to 2 to the power 32. So, if, if we have if we can search in 2 to the power 32 collection, then there is a probability with half that we will get this x y and searching to do in 2 to the power 32 is not a big deal in the modern computer. So, this is the at attack one can mount for hash function. So, that is why m should be reasonably good size. So, for SA 1 m is 60 bit. So, that means k is 2 to the power 8 which is reasonably uh, difficult to search. So, this is the uh, this is the way how we can uh, mount the birthday attack on the hash function.